The third option is to apply either a gradient map adjustment, and you can do that via the image menu. You can really do that via the layers panel too, or a regular gradient. And what I'm looking for here is for you to know what the difference is. And so a gradient to me is not as cool as a gradient map. It just has a different effect, but maybe it works for your needs or it doesn't. So let's grab another image to try this on. Let's do it on this cool image of this castle looking thing. We'll call this Lesson 11C. And we'll go ahead and open that in Photoshop. So there's a couple ways to apply a gradient map. And so I'm going to apply a gradient first, and I'm going to do it as an adjustment layer. You can also do an adjustment layer for a gradient map. Then after I'm done that, I'll show you the difference between the gradient and the gradient map by using the image menu adjustments and then gradient map to apply the gradient map. Did I say gradient map enough times? And so I'm going to go ahead and make the background layer, regular layer. You can use the new adjustment layer and choose gradient. It'll create a new layer above the original layer. Because the gradient I have chosen has transparency to it, you can actually see through it. But most of the gradients will not. They will have something like this. And so you can't see through any of the layer. And so if you wanted to see through it, you would have to use some sort of mask or even a layer blending mode to change the color in the image. And so you can see, oh, that one really hurts my eyeballs. You can see that actually kind of looks pretty cool. You can see they create different effects depending on which layer blending mode you select. I kind of like that. And then maybe we'll back off a little bit on the fill and see what happens and the opacity. And we can make different changes. Now I don't like it, so I'm going to go back to 100% and 100% and try a different layer blending mode. Maybe overlay or multiply is always a good one and you can create different effects. However, you'll see that the gradient, when you apply just a regular gradient fill, it works just like a solid fill layer would, where it just changes the way the color interacts with your picture as is. Let's get rid of that one. And this time, let's apply a gradient map. And so you could apply it via the adjustments fly out down here on your layers panel. There is a gradient map option at the bottom. But I'm going to apply it in another way I'm going to use the image menu, but I want it to be non-destructive. So I'm going to right click and choose convert to smart object and then go to the image menu adjustments and choose gradient map. The gradient map interacts with your image in a different way than the regular overlay does. You can see this is the same filter, same gradient as before, and it almost looks like um, an architectural drawing. And so you can find the one that you like. This is the same one that I used in the original um, example in the skills practice and you can oh I don't like that you can figure out what works for your needs again just like everything else we do you can experiment you can duplicate your layer you can lower the opacity and do different things At the very least this works if you want to expand upon that a little bit you can double click gradient map to get the gradient map dialog box back but you've already seen that if you right, uh, not right click, if you double click the little lines over here, you get additional things that you can um, that you can modify. And so you can change how your gradient map blends with the original image. And so I actually think that's really cool with the darken, and so I might leave it there. But you can see that you can affect your blending mode in a number of ways. I'm going to do, ooh, lighten kind of looks cool too, but I'm going to go with darken. I think that looks really cool. It looks um, stylized, but not too out there, and it might look cool for some sort of artwork on a book cover or something that you might be working on.